Yeah. Hey, everyone with Rich Fans. We're here with Dwayne. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay so uh, we're here at the Fancy Food uh, Trade Show here in Washington, D.C. And we're going to try out some of your sauces. So uh, tell, tell us a yeah, little package candy, candy that can history you about yourself when you got into grilling. Well, McCoy's brand, we, um, first of all, we have a barbecue up for a lot of years. Uh, my father and, uh, and all his kids, his uh, two older brothers, we grew up barbecue, backyard style, and just have a love for barbecue. So, I started a food company 25 years ago called Grandma Home Foods, located near Topeka, Kansas. And um, we have the ability to work variety of products. Decided to come out with some barbecue sauce some years ago. Uh, it's spun off into some other uh, seasonings and other things, but it all started really from just the love of barbecue. Why, why do you love barbecue so much? Like, it brings people together. You know, it's a fun thing, it's a family thing. Uh, our slogan here is so good to invite the neighbors. And uh, we mean that we like to, to make a party out of it. We, we grill for, uh, and barbecue. We do functions in the neighborhood uh, many times. Uh, I know the neighbors, different gatherings, and parties, and events. Um, so we just try to do uh, quite a bit of it through here. So just maybe take us through your uh, sauce line a little bit. Sure. So what do you have here? Well, we have our citrus, which is uh, represented here. Uh, that's a new product, original, so we've had it for some years. Um, it's a great, versatile sauce. We use it a lot on uh, ribs and chickens. Um, we can also use it as a great dipping sauce. This is what started the original. Then we come out with the spicy. Uh, similar composition, just has a nice bit of heat to it, not over the top, and we think just about right. Um, then we have our citrus, which is the uh, newest, and this we use for a um, variety of grilling. We like this a lot on chicken. Uh, we use this as a topper for uh, grilling uh, addition to ribs. Okay. Try this with, with your barbecue pork ribs next time. I think really like so I just uh, barbecued, uh, smoked some pork ribs yesterday. They uh -huh. came out disastrous, uh -huh. actually. So well, give me give me like a tip so I can maybe improve them. Yeah, what on the was next the problem one. with them? What, what, what well, they were burnt. Okay. They were kind of burnt. Here's what happens a lot of times on ribs. Ribs are a little tricky. A lot of people, when you do authentic barbecue, uh, you know, grilling is grilling, barbecue is barbecue. Barbecuing ribs, you need to you need to spend a few hours on them, four to five hours on uh, on your ribs. Now, if you have full smoke, yeah, you're gonna have a pretty smoky rib. So what I do is I put about two and a half hours and about. Uh, 275 degrees, get enough flavor in there, I'll put a light coating of uh, barbecue sauce, which I'll cut about 50-50 with water, okay. um, and I'll cook it for two and a half hours. Then I'll go ahead and put it in a in a, in a foil pan, or you can wrap it in foil. So that's what I forgot to do, I forgot to foil. Well, what, and we've all done it. And what happens is, they get overcooked, they get oversmoked, people don't like all that, a lot of people don't like all that oversmoke. So if you put it in a pan or wrap it in foil, what will happen is the smoking process ceases, but the continued cooking I see. and what smoke you do have in there for that two and a half hours remains, and it's much more pleasant making your meat will become a lot more uh, tender. I see. And uh, when I come out, out of the uh, foil pan, then I'll take, if I'm, if I'm wanting to go the, the uh, citrus route, I'll put on the, the uh, citrus as a final glaze and I'll just sear, kiss the flame just a little bit and that'll caramelize a little bit, the sugar's in it and uh, we're ready. So. Awesome, so do you want to try some sauce with me? Sure. Okay, so what, give, well, give. Try the uh, original well, you first. You have to try it too. I will. Okay. The uh, grab you a pretzel here, this is the uh, original. Okay. What we need is some ribs and chicken. I do, absolutely. 